What you doing, Doug? Hey, Alan. So this is um, this is a cover crop that was cut uh, a week ago. Um, so I just wanted to show how to plant into it when once you're ready to to plant. Um, so this was the rye vetch pea cover crop that planted in October. Um, I cut it a week ago, so that was the first week of June, and it's been sitting um, on top. The the chaff has been sitting for about a week, and uh, now it's t it's uh, ready to be planted into. So I'll just show the um, just how uh, you can do it different ways. But what I usually do, so I'll, if I'm transplanting, say tomatoes into here, I'll just make a a space in the in the mulch. So this is the rye and the vetch and everything that's dried up. And then just with a hand shovel, loosen up that, that soil right there. And make a make a little nest kinda. And I'll take the I don't have a plant right now, but take the plant make a hole and then put the, the plant right in and then cover it up and that's it. So in one week that big bowl of rye roots broke down enough for you to plant right into yeah. that spot with just a little breaking breaking up. Yeah so you can see how easy that, that was just to get the shovel in to this so as you might know like the the mass of roots that the rye has is Really, it's contributing so much organic matter to the soil as it decomposes. Um, so in a week, it's gone from that heavy, deep, thick mat, um, and a lot of the roots have sloughed off and died. Um, and now it's really easy to, to be worked. So waiting for that stage, that milk stage again, is really, really important because a lot of that energy has come up out of the roots, and so the roots are not as filled with that and won't be able to come back and re-sprout after you cut it. So waiting for it to enter its milk stage, entering st seeding, um, will allow for easy um, work in the soil to transplant right into. So. Great, thanks. Yeah. You're